Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Welcome to Monk Monday, number 97. Yes, I still do these. I just haven't got any gameplay from anybody. So if you have any gameplay at all, please send them to this email right here. And I am more than happy to answer or critique anything that you have. Again, I don't care. Any MMR, 1400, 2K, 2100, 2700, it doesn't matter. I've also done Keystones. I have not done a raid yet. So any spec, Mistweaver, Erwin Walker, it does not matter. Any MMR, any key level, it does not matter. Please send in your gameplay. These are literally my favorite videos to do. So I'm very happy to have finally gotten some gameplay. Normally this email just gets like bots and spam. So I'm very happy to finally get some get some gameplay. And so today we have Resto. And he says in the email, uh, Hi Mystical, massive fan. I'm very, very, very casual. New player that loves the Monk playstyle and only ever hopes to do it in Arena. Hey, join the club. It's amazing. Mistweaver is a fantastic spec. I love Mistweaver so much. Um, I've got two games to share with you. Not sure my partner would be happy for it to be shared on YouTube, but I'm very interested in your feedback. I uh, Don't worry about it. These videos are pretty low-key. Um, don't worry about it. This uh, The best way to improve at the game truly is recording your gameplay and watching it back. Um, I've been doing it for years because I edit the videos, so I 100% believe if you want to get better at the game, watch record your gameplay and watch it back it's that easy i think one of the awc teams i think three and a half men have vod sessions scheduled every week just to watch gameplay it's insane so um fucked up coming out of the gate versus rogue rogue i managed to pull one of the roasts out with a spinning crank which is amazing i think i messed up with the port as i los my partner but not sure uh, yeah i'll take a look at double rogue here and then boomy enhanced i didn't expect the cc immunity trinket normally if you see a boomy they're gonna have the two they're immune to two cc's or like two or something like that uh, they do run that trinket with like convoke and like they try to just go for a cheese one shot. She was obviously that I should have cocoon, but maybe, but would that have been enough? Normally cocoon isn't enough for a convoke unless you're playing battlemaster trinket to make the absorption bigger. Uh, but I'll see. Watching it back, I realize I need to fix my yard to show trinkets. Not sure why it isn't. I will also see that. Um, any help is appreciated, of course. I will. I will do as best as I can. Good luck on pushing rank one. You definitely deserve it. Thank you, man. I hope, I hope, I, I hope one day. Uh, man, I would love to. Uh, also me and some weekend warrior. On, uh, also me and other weekend warrior. 1200, 1400, I have some Discord server. If you ever, ever have some chill chat, games, feedback, please feel free to join. We'd love to see you there. I'll absolutely join. Are you kidding? Regards, uh, Resto. P.S. The Undead is flavor choices, even though I tell people it, it best the H Priest meta. Yeah, I, I did have some people asking me if... Um, if undead would be good with how many holy priests and death locks they are it could be good it could be good i don't know though i i have no idea it has its spot but then you queue into one rogue team one rogue mage team and uh they kill you in one seven second kidney and you just wanna just you're so sad trust me if i lose one game to like a seven second kidney i'm, I'm gone like i'm i will be i will be switching back to orc so <laughs> all right let me just make sure okay so let me just take a look at what we got. We have... I don't know what our talents are. Um, we are Necrolord. It looks like we're Grapple Weapon, which is good. We are in Dead, so it's kind of useless versus this. But I see Grapple Weapon. I don't see any other. It looks like we're playing potentially Life Cycles, and we are Necrolord. Okay. And we have our Trinket, which is good. Okay. So... Yeah, probably definitely want to get a, get a, get your port down. Yeah, we can't. Unfortunately, Mistweavers, we can't waste time in the opener because the, we have like three globals. We need to put a port down. We need a statue up. And then what you want to do. Oh, nice job. We don't have a statue up, though. So keep that in mind. Um, what you want to do is you want to put your port, that, your statue down and start casting on who you think they're going to go. Because if you get CC'd, the, the statue would keep healing your, your target. So good job getting the rogue. We have blinded here. So there are two rogues on the team. So what this means is you need to, your teammate, wait, your, oh, your teammate's an Ellie Shaman. I thought you said Enhanced. I thought Enhancement Shaman, but this is an Ellie Shaman. For sure, this is, right? This looks, this looks like an, uh, an Ellie Shaman. Um, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to sit one full blind. So it either needs to be this blind and your shaman, your shaman used rock Ellie as well. So I think like you're looking kind of good. Um, that's a blind though. So you're gonna have to sit this and your shaman's probably gonna have to use wall. If So there's shadow blades and that's, okay. So that was shadow blades and a dance, which is a lot of damage from this sub rogue, which is fine to trinket, but just make sure your shaman does not trinket or use a cooldown before uh, the next go because all right that's cocoon too which is perfect try to go for a leg sweep uh this is a half blind this is fine 
Uh, yeah, good revival as well. Uh, steps to you, cheap shots on you. I think you're fine. Your shaman needs to press wall. Yeah, I, honestly, you were. I think you were fine. Uh, first of all, positioning wise. Let me see. So this is fine. What you want to do, ideally, is as soon as you see one of these rogues out, just roll away. Um, as uh, like 40 yards away. You don't want to get anywhere close to these rogues because then it makes it easy to cheap shot you and kick you. So you don't want to do that. So just stay kind of, you get blinded here, which is fine. All right, you get blinded here. We sit it, we use life cocoon and we, we use revival. I would may, maybe try to leg sweep because I don't believe, yeah, there's, I think there's one rock at least stun, but the other rogue, I don't think is on stun DR. So also your shaman didn't use astral shift. So I think that's the big one is uh, there's no astral shift. I, maybe this is an enhancement shaman. Yeah, this, okay, this is an enhancement shaman. So for some reason it's showing um, this and that's normally what I see in my early shaman. So th yeah, yeah, this is enhancement. Okay, so you're just, I don't know if you're using voice or not, but you should be saying, hey, uh, oh no, it does proc. Um, you should probably use Astral Shift. It's not your fault that you ported LOS because you really didn't have any cooldowns, but I think we still had Disarm. But yeah, we still had Wall. I think that was just a matter of, one, we didn't, well, we didn't use our leg sweep. Leg sweep is really good for peeling for your teammates or yourself. Like if you're ever, oh, cap to Capstone is what caused us thunder. Um, leg sweep is really good for peeling for you or your teammates, especially if you get kicked or if they're low. You'll, I do it all the time. You, it doesn't always have to be an aggressive leg sweep. Use it defensively. It's perfect, especially versus in twos versus double DPS. Uh, they're, they have very small windows to actually get a kill. So just use your double X sweep to peel and you're good. Um, Ring of Peace also might be helpful if you're kind of if your teammate is kind of low. Um, <clears throat> we use Life Cocoon and everything. We use Revival. So Disarm is good. I would have probably instantly, you could you could use Disarm on one of two things because you only have one Disarm. Um, either Shadow Blade right here on the sub rogue or if this rogue uses Vendetta, which I think he does use, yeah, instantly right here with Shadow Blades. So either one of, either one of those is fine to disarm. You can disarm either. Probably want to do the um, Acer Rogue just because Vendetta is really scary. And we do Revival, which is perfect. So overall, really not that bad of a game. It just comes down to uh, your Shaman not being able to use Astral Shift and you not using Disarm or Leg Sweep to kind of help your Shaman. Trust me, I played twos with an Enhancement Shaman as well. They are squishy. Very, very squishy. So it's I don't think it's either of your fault. Rogues are pretty... Rogues are tough. Alright, so we have Enhancement Shaman Boomy. And in this game, didn't expect the CC immunity trinket. Yeah. I see my partner Sheer obviously doesn't know I should have cocooned, but what if watching your back of raise, I need to fix my eye for trinkets. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This sometimes happens, and sometimes it's a bug. Um, I actually really like your UI like this. It's really clean. Um, it might be an S Arena thing. This Is this S Arena? Or maybe it's not. Maybe this is like uh, move anything and you just moved it over. Sometimes the trinkets don't load for me either. And it's just like a normal game, you know? Um, it's weird. So let me just see your talent real quick here. So it's Boomy Enhancement Shaman. Eminence, you don't need Eminence versus this. I would, I would drop Eminence for Zen Focus T probably. Just because Zen Focus T lets you... I, it lets you immune root beam if you time it right, but also even if even if they see that you use Zen Focus T, it's really good for delaying their go. So you delay their go five seconds, maybe you get a trinket back or your teammate gets a trinket back or a cooldown comes up. So that's good. Song of Chi G is decent. I mean, I don't think Song of Chi G or Ring of Peace is even. I think Ring of Peace might be more beneficial if you're hitting the Boomy, just because, even if you're not, just because you could use Ring of Peace to interrupt the um, the healing that they have. But Song of Chi is also good. Just If you're playing this like it's a healer DPS, then yeah, Song of Chi I think is better. So I don't mind Song. I think Song of Chi is foreign. It's so fun to play. So uh, Port down, statue up. Perfect. All right. So let's see how Static Field Totem. And it looks like Boomy. Convoke. So this is instantly just revival. Like, just revival here. Are we playing Peace Weaver? Yeah, just revival. And you, and you stay alive. 100%. Um, Peace Weaver is a pretty good counter versus Convoke. You can get it like every other Convoke. So every other Convoke, you can Peace Weaver. And then you can Life Cocoon in between each one. So 
yeah i i would just whenever i see convoke in rbgs arena anywhere i just it, i just press i just press revival it, it, it's just an instant counter the team gets because not only is convoke very strong the pressure that they get is strong after so if you don't press revival and they get your teammate low and then they get a cyclone on you or they kick you or something but your teammate is still low after that convoke then they could probably get a kill but if you revival and they, all of a sudden they got no pressure from from their convoke and even if they cyclone you your shaman can probably still kite probably still heal themselves and they're not that low so keep that in mind it's more it's more about it, the damage is scary but also the pressure afterwards is just as scary so that's why i just revival even if we're doing fine i just revival it's like i'd rather that than us dying so yeah you can see convoke he goes this is the cc immunity see your trinket did your trinket does work it just doesn't show up and that happened to me too i queued into like a rogue boomy team and the trinket didn't show up so this is just it just revival um your shaman doesn't try to kick it but i think that's because obviously i think he's immune um but you can see how convoke is over now where's convoke convoke here boom does damage hit you boom convokes over and your teammate is at i don't know what 60 percent health and then he drops down because the boomy Get, gets a bunch of astro power after the convoke and he can just throw star surges at your shaman so keep that in mind it's it's also more about the pressure afterwards so yeah the boomy has astro power saved up probably the death log was probably like nothing insane and then two or three astro surges with uh maybe an ellie blast from the enhancement shaman so honestly just revival that that's the answer to this um just revival the shaman is hell under geared so all you need to do after this is revival you're fine. You go for an in-cap song on the Boomy because he has no trinket. Do stuns on the Enhancement Shaman, and you win this game 100% of the time. So, yeah, just tr that's what I do. My instant instinct when I see Convoke is just Revival. And I think that was the only game that only games that you guys had. Uh, overall, th there really weren't bad games at like at all. You just need to focus on trading cooldown for cooldown that's what pvp is all about right now if you don't trade a cooldown you're gonna die we didn't astro shift either i maybe could have lived with astro shift i don't know though um but that's what it's all about now if you don't trade a cooldown versus a major offensive cooldown you're gonna die combustion convoke incarn shadow blades you know uh stuff like that you're just, you're, you're just gonna die it that's just how it is so um versus rogues Look for disarms on Vendetta or Shadow Blades. Very important. Try to stay far away, as far away as you can, so they can't cheap shot you or kick you easily, and then you'll be fine. Versus teams like this with casters, if you see a convoke, a convoke, Dark Soul, Combustion, uh, Shadow Priest have, I think, the Void Volley and like uh, Void Form, anything like that, revival. Just revival make make your team immune to everything get that make them immune so they can run away or either stay alive and then you'll be fine so that is pretty much it hopefully this was helpful for you and hopefully your teammate isn't mad at you i don't think he will be this is honestly the best way to learn and improve that that's just how it is it's straight up so if you have any questions let me know if anyone does hopefully this is helpful for you or anybody else and that's it for me hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you later